Yes. Well, welcome to Live from Tech Alley. Thank I you love so your outfit. You look very me. You look very 70s. Oh, thank you. I uh doing my Canadian tuxedo today. Your Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> For, for those of you in the audience who aren't aware of what that means, she's in denim. So. so Gina, tell us what brings you to Tech Alley today. Tell us what you're all about. Yeah, so I'm a social media strategist. Okay. Um, right now, I'm focused on helping founders create and monetize their personal brand. Okay. So yeah, today I'm just here today to learn and also see who I can help and maybe how I can help them. Oh, fantastic. Is this your yeah. first Tech Alley? This is my second. Your second tech alley. Yeah. So, and are you from Vegas or where are you from? I just moved here a year ago. Okay. Yeah. So fairly new. I'm a California transplant. Okay. I think like many. NorCal people. or SoCal? Both. I'm Both. originally from the Bay Area. Okay. Uh, but I was in LA for the last 10 okay. years. Very cool. What were you yeah. doing in LA? Were you doing marketing and media and that kind of stuff? Exactly. So, yeah. so what kind of, what was your background in that kind of stuff? Yeah, so my background, I've worked across high growth startups. I did the corporate thing. Okay. Also working for big tech um, on the agency side as well. Okay. So um, everything from uh, developing branding uh, to content, mm -hmm. um, influencer marketing, partnerships. Uh, so all of that experience is kind of laddered up to, to what I'm doing now. Nice. That's fantastic. So you're here now you're, you're getting out of the, the big leagues yeah. and you're looking to help people move up into the big leagues. It sounds like. Yeah. You know, just uh, looking to help people gain more visibility and mm -hmm. projects into what they're doing. I think, you know, founders are obviously invested so much in what they're building and it's so important to create visibility for yourself and what you're building mm -hmm. to ultimately help bring it to life. Right. So what's, what's your, best piece of advice you're willing to give out for free on our live stream your best piece of advice to founders tech founders startup founders or small business owners about increasing their visibility yeah i would say to absolutely get on linkedin and start creating educational content value-based content about what you're doing what you're bringing to market the problems you're solving and ultimately creating that as a piece to start building value. So mm -hmm. I was also in the where's my money session with Kurt and uh, he was he's got my money. <laughs> Great branding, by the way. <laughs> and one thing he was talking about was the importance of starting to build those relationships really early on, right? Not when you actually need the funding, but building those relationships eight to 12 months before you actually need that funding. So a great way to continue to keep in touch and share value and updates on what you're building is through making those connections and then continuing to share content and nurture those relationships on platforms like LinkedIn is also great to um, use tools like LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find and connect with the people that you're looking to either help grow your company, fund, um, or, you know, add to your team. Well, where can everyone find you on LinkedIn? Yeah, so I'm at Gina Knacknack, and that's my real last name. It's not a layup to a joke. <laughs> beat, beat me to it, but okay. I guess I'm not the host anymore. <laughs> So Gina Naknak, last name is spelled N-A-C-N-A-C. -N -A -C. Guys, it's not easier than that. So look up Gina on LinkedIn. What is an important trend that founders, small business owners in, in media and marketing should be following right now? I don't know if I would call it a trend, but I would definitely say to leverage AI as much as possible. That's one thing that I'm working on uh, bringing into my consulting practice to ultimately bring out uh, tools that we can mm -hmm. create to simplify the content creation process. So I would really just encourage founders to do something to what I'm doing with my clients, which is building a brand book, which is the foundation of, you know, what your personal brand is and what you're sharing and uploading those as like resources to tools like GPT to help you come up with content ideas, script, write your sales pages, all of that. 
So really leveraging AI to simplify your creation process. Awesome. So what are some of those things? Again, I'm going to try to squeeze as much free Please. advice out of you as I can today. Yeah. What are some of those things that should go into that brand book besides scripts and that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So in your brand book, you really want to define your offer, your unique selling position, your ideal client profile. So not just demographics and psychographics, but really understanding what are their goals, challenges, fears, every desire, mm -hmm. right? The more insights you know about them, the better, because then you can start to craft all of your marketing messages around that foundation. Um, so I really encourage, especially founders that are in the kind of research and development phase, to get on as many discovery calls as possible, gather those insights, have a tool like an AI meeting note taker in those meetings, taking notes. I like to tr download those transcripts, upload it to GBT and say, summarize the insights related to their goals, challenges, and then continuing to build out that ideal client profile, I think is really great. So those are some of the key foundational elements for the brand book. So go work on that. And if you're having trouble with that, find Gina. Gina knack knack. I, that's really fun to say. <laughs> knack knack. I'm into it. Um, yeah. So find Gina if you're having trouble with that or need a little bit of advice. And where can everyone find you? Yeah. So um, again, it, just at LinkedIn at Gina knack knack. I'm also on all of the other platforms, Instagram, TikTok. I uh, wouldn't be a good social media person if I wasn't, but uh, LinkedIn is definitely my primary platform. So that would be the best. All right. Well, we're going to, we're all going to go and check out, check you out on social media, see how your branding is yeah. and see how it goes. So uh, what else are you excited to see at Tech Alley today? Yeah. So actually I'm going to jump into a talk uh, with Josh and he's going to go into AI tools uh, for content creation. So again, continuing to learn about all of those cool things. I think he's going to talk about a tool that you can actually use as a deep fake. I know that there that's kind of a dirty word these days. <laughs> but being able to clone yourself to create video content. I, I know I know two companies that are doing that right now for for lack of a better word for legit marketing purposes cuz yeah. you can only create so much, you know, if you're a content creator, you know you can only create so much content on your own, yeah. but if you genuinely want to create more content, and you really, and you know, sometimes you really need to flood your channels with content to get the the reaction you the reaction you're looking for. Yeah. Um, why not work with some of these companies? And you know, again, don't don't do nefarious things. Don't be bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a bunch of companies out there doing that, and so that's really interesting. I, I think that'll be a really great talk. So yeah, absolutely. So all right, well, I hope you'll come back and see us again in the future. Thank you. So I definitely want to uh, get your info and connect with you. I've got your info yeah. on LinkedIn, so I'll reach out to you. But yeah, but, please. But we'll uh, we'll connect up, and uh, you told us where you can reach us. You told us what you're excited about. Any any last things you want to leave our audience with? Um, I think you know, really, just um, an encouraging word about you know creating. I think that a lot of people, as they're creating, it becomes a very discouraging process because you feel like you're kind of yelling into the void of social. And I, it's... I know how that feels. <laughs> you're wondering, you know, is this really? Does this really matter? Is anybody really watching? Um, but I like to say that doesn't really necessarily matter how many people are watching your content. It's a matter of who is watching your content, right? Mm -hmm. So to just continue sharing what you feel inspired to share and the value that you're looking to bring to the world. And, um, you know, in this world where we're very caught up in metrics and being measured by likes and comments and so on and so forth, I would just like to encourage people to kind of detach from that and, and to continue to share what you're working on uh, just for the sake of sharing and and for the art of it and bringing people into your world. So well, and I want to thank all of you for watching because I know we're not just screaming out into the void. There's a there's some of you watching out there. So thank you for joining us today. If you are in Las Vegas and you're interested in the things Gene is talking about with the branding, the tech, the drones, the AI, the crypto, the programming, the hardware, the software, all the things that are going on at Tech Alley today. Get on down here to the corner of Charleston and Maine and downtown Las Vegas. Taverna Costera is sponsoring the water, the coffee, the lunch, 
that's already done, but you can still come down here and see some really great tech talks and get to know some really great people who are looking to help people boost their businesses, grow their businesses, grow our ecosystem, and really build up our tech community here in Las Vegas. Gina, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was a great speaking with you, and I look forward to continuing the conversation and um, connecting with more of you. Hopefully, I'll see you in my uh, DMs. On yes, my slide into the DMs. <laughs> And you can slide into mine, too. I don't mind. So. All right. Thank you, Gina. Thank you so much.